Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and today's tip is all about how you can better control your breathing to improve your golf. It is one thing which many people kind of overlook as somehow the actual technique and the body are disconnected in some way, and what's going on with your breathing and your heart rate is almost not anything to do with the actual swing which is being performed. Unfortunately, uh, they're connected in a way which you can't separate, and if you did, you've got much more bigger problems than actually hitting golf shots and you will not last very long in a and &E. Anyway, rambling, let's talk about how you can control it a little bit better. If you can control your breathing, control your heart rate, it will get you more relaxed and it can also get you more focused on the task in hand. The easiest way to control your breathing, control your heart rate, is to work it into your pre-shot routine. Now, Often the biggest problem people find with this is actually just simply remembering to do it. It's one of those things that people are like, well, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll breathe in every now and again. But actually when they're over the ball, a lot of people, if they stopped and actually focused on their body, they'd find it actually quite tense. You know, they've not relaxed in a way which will allow them to swing the club as effectively as they could do. Now, the easy way to actually build it in, like I said, is pre-shot routine. And I'll kind of do it from this angle. I've got my driver here, and I'll kind of talk you through my pre-shot routine and what you guys can be doing. The first thing after you've selected your club and got your distances is to give yourself a clearing breath. Now, this is something that Jason Day does very, very well, and quite a few other players, is when they're behind the ball, looking down at their target line, they clear their breath by a very sharp intake through the nose and then a, a real blowout through the mouth. Now what this does, it kind of clears the system a little bit, it gets your brain engaged. But what it can also do, it can also tell your body and remind yourself, now you need to breathe deeply. So it's looking down at the target, that clearance breath automatically fills the lungs up with a bit more oxygen and gets you into the shot. So it's the clearing breath, alignment down to your target, picking out your target line, another breath as well, visualization of the shot, breath, getting the alignment right, breathing, allowing the body to relax, once more, and then here. Now, it doesn't really matter um, how long your pre-shot routine is, as long as the breaths are nice and deep and very well spaced. So in a 20 second kind of pre-shot routine, you'd, I'd only want to be breathing five or six times, really deeply and a big exhale. When you're actually hitting the shot, you don't need to be breathing for that because it's an anaerobic event. You know, you don't need the aerobic system to perform the goal swing. However, if you're breathing in nice and deeply, resting the heart rate, getting your body relaxed, the chances of you performing that action better are greatly increased. But as always, guys, give this a go. This is more of a fix which you'll find improving your game over the long term. So please give it a go. As always, comment in the box below. Love to know what you guys think. Let me know if this is working for you and let me know your exercises as well. You know, this is a real forum of a channel. It gets you guys sharing your ideas with others and also inspiring others as well. So guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on the other social media platforms and I'll see you next time.